Joshua chapter 16. The allotment of the Josephites went from the Jordan by Jericho, east of the waters of Jericho, into the wilderness, going up from Jericho into the hill country to Bethel, then going from Bethel to Luz. It passes along to Adaroth, the territory of the Archites. Then it goes down westward to the territory of the Japhletites, as far as the territory of Lower Beth Haran, then to Gezer, and it ends at the sea. The Josephites, Manasseh, and Ephraim received their inheritance. The territory of the Ephraimites by their families was as follows. The boundary of their inheritance on the east was Adaroth Adar, as far as Upper Beth Horon, and the boundary goes from there to the sea. On the north is Michmatheth. Then on the east the boundary makes a turn toward Tanoth Shiloh, and passes along beyond it on the east to Genoa. Then it goes down from Genoa to Adaroth and to Nara, and touches Jericho, ending at the Jordan. From Tapua, the boundary goes westward to the Wadi Kana, and ends at the sea. Such is the inheritance of the tribe of the Ephraimites by their families, together with the towns that were set apart for the Ephraimites within the inheritance of the Manassites, all those towns with their villages. They did not, however, drive out the Canaanites who lived in Gezer. So the Canaanites have lived within Ephraim to this day, but have been made to do forced labor. Joshua chapter 17. Then allotment was made to the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph. To Machir, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, were allotted Gilead and Bashan, because he was a warrior. And allotments were made to the rest of the tribe of Manasseh, by their families, Abiezer, Helic, Asriel, Shechem, Hefer, and Shemida. These were the male descendants of Manasseh, son of Joseph, by their families. Now Zelophehad, son of Hefer, son of Gilead, son of Machir, son of Manasseh, had no sons, but only daughters. And these are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. They came before the priest Eleazar and Joshua, son of Nun, and the leaders, and said, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance along with our male kin. So according to the commandment of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among the kinsmen of their father. Thus there fell to Manasseh ten portions, besides the land of Gilead and Bashan which is on the other side of the Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh received an inheritance along with his sons. The land of Gilead was allotted to the rest of the Manassites. The territory of Manasseh reached from Asher to Michmetheth, which is east of Shechem. Then the boundary goes along southward to the inhabitants of en Tapua. The land of Tapua belonged to Manasseh, but the town of Tapua on the boundary of Manasseh belonged to the Aphromites. Then the boundary went down to the Wadi Kana. The towns here, to the south of the Wadi, among the towns of Manasseh, belonged to Ephraim. Then the boundary of Manasseh goes along the north side of the Wadi and ends at the sea. The land to the south is Ephraim's, and that to the north is Manasseh's, with the sea forming its boundary. On the north, Asher is reached, and on the east, Issachar. Within Issachar and Asher, Manasseh had Beth Shean and its villages, Ibliam and its villages, the inhabitants of Dor and its villages, the inhabitants of En Dor and its villages, the inhabitants of Tanakh and its villages, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and its villages. The third is Nephath. Yet the Manassites could not take possession of those towns. But the Canaanites continued to live in that land. But when the Israelites grew strong, they put the Canaanites to forced labor, but did not utterly drive them out. The tribe of Joseph spoke to Joshua, saying, 
Why have you given me but one lot and one portion as an inheritance, since we are a numerous people, whom all along the Lord has blessed? And Joshua said to them, If you are a numerous people, go up to the forest and clear ground there for yourselves in the land of the Perizzites and the Rephaim, since the hill country of Ephraim is too narrow for you. The tribe of Joseph said, The hill country is not enough for us. Yet all the Canaanites who live in the plain have chariots of iron, both those in Beth Shean and its villages and those in the valley of Jezreel. Then Joshua said to the house of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, You are indeed a numerous people and have great power. You shall not have one lot only, but the hill country shall be yours. For though it is a forest, you shall clear it and possess it to its farthest borders. For you shall drive out the Canaanites, though they have chariots of iron, and though they are strong. Joshua chapter 18 Then the whole congregation of the Israelites assembled at Shiloh, and set up the tent of meeting there. The land lay subdued before them. There remained... Among the Israelites, seven tribes whose inheritance had not yet been apportioned. So Joshua said to the Israelites, How long will you be slack about going in and taking possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has given you? Provide three men from each tribe, and I will send them out that they may begin to go throughout the land, writing a description of it with a view to their inheritances. Then come back to me. They shall divide it into seven portions, Judah continuing in its territory on the south, and the house of Joseph in their territory on the north. You shall describe the land in seven divisions, and bring the description here to me, and I will cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. The Levites have no portion among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their heritage. And Gad and Reuben and the half-tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan eastward, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them. So the men started on their way, and Joshua charged those who went to write the description of the land, saying, Go throughout the land and write a description of it, and come back to me and I will cast lots for you here before the Lord in Shiloh. So the men went and traversed the land and set down in a book a description of it by towns in seven divisions. Then they came back to Joshua in the camp at Shiloh. And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord. And there Joshua apportioned the land to the Israelites to each a portion. The lot of the tribe of Benjamin, according to its families, came up, and the territory allotted to it fell between the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Joseph. On the north side, their boundary began at the Jordan. Then the boundary goes up to the slope of Jericho on the north, then up through the hill country westward, and it ends at the wilderness of Beth-Avon. From there, the boundary passes along southward in the direction of Luz, to the slope of Luz, that is Bethel. Then the boundary goes down to Adaroth Adar, on the mountain that lies south of lower Beth Horon. Then the boundary goes in another direction, turning on the western side southward from the mountain that lies to the south, opposite Beth Horon, and it ends at Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Jerem, a town belonging to the tribe of Judah. This forms the western side. The southern side begins at the outskirts of Kiriath-Jerim, and the boundary goes from there to Ephron, to the spring of the waters of Nephtoah. Then the boundary goes down to the border of the mountain that overlooks the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is at the north end of the valley of Repham. And it then goes down the valley of Hinnom, south of the slope of the Jebusites, and downward to En Rogel. Then it bends in a northerly direction, going on to En Shemesh, and from there goes to Galilath, 
which is opposite the ascent of Adumim. Then it goes down to the stone of Bohan, Reuben's son, and passing on to the north of the slope of Beth Araba. It goes down to the Araba, then the boundary passes on to the north of the slope of Beth Hogla, and the boundary ends at the northern bay of the Dead Sea, at the south end of the Jordan. This is the southern border. The Jordan for- forms its boundary on the eastern side. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Benjamin, according to its families, boundary by boundary, all around. Now the towns of the tribe of Benjamin, according to their families, were Jericho, Beth Hogla, Emek Kezes, Beth Araba, Zimaram, Bethel, Avim, Para, Ophra, Shephar, Amani, Ophni, and Geba. Twelve towns with their villages, Gibeon, Rama, Biroth, Mizpeh, Chephira, Moza, Rechem, Irpil, Tarala, Zila, Haleph, Jebus, that is, Jerusalem, Gibeah, and Kiriath Jerem, fourteen towns with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Benjamin, according to its families. Joshua chapter 19. The second lot came out for Simeon, for the tribe of Simeon, according to its families. Its inheritance lay within the inheritance of the tribe of Judah. It had for its inheritance Beersheba, Sheba, Molada, Hazar Shual, Bala, Ezem, Eltulad, Bethel, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Lebioth, and Sharuhan, thirteen towns with their villages, Ain, Raman, Ether, and Ashen, four towns with their villages, together with all the villages all around these towns, as far, far as Balath Beer, Rama of the Negeb. This was the inheritance of the tribe of Simeon, according to its families. The inheritance of the tribe of Simeon formed part of the territory of Judah, because the portion of the tribe of Judah was too large for them. The tribe of Simeon obtained an inheritance within their inheritance. The third lot came up for the tribe of Zebulun, according to its families. The boundary of its inheritance reached as far as Sarid. Then its boundary goes up westward and on to Marala and touches Dabasheth. Then the wadi that is east of Jokneam, from Sarid, it goes in the other direction eastward toward the sunrise to the boundary of Chisloth Tabor. From there it goes to Dabarath, then up to Japhia. From there it passes along on the east toward the sunrise to Gath Hefer, to Eth Kazin, and going on to Rimen it bends toward Nia. Then on the north the boundary makes a turn to Hanathon and it ends at the valley of Iftael, and Katath, uh, Nahalal, Shimron, Adala, and Bethlehem. Twelve towns with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Zebulun, according to its families, these towns with their villages. The fourth lot came out for Issachar, for the tribe of Issachar, according to its families. Its territory included Jezreel, Chesiloth, Shunem, Hapharam, Shion, Anaharath, Rabbath, Kishion, Ebez, Remeth, Enganim, Enhada, Beth Pazaz. The boundary also touches Tabor, Shahazuma, and Beth Shemesh, and its boundary ends at the Jordan. Sixteen towns with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Issachar, according to its families, the towns with their villages. The fifth lot came out for the tribe of Asher, according to its families. Its boundary included Helkath, Holly, Betan, Oxfaf, Alamalek, Ahmad, and Mishal. On the west it touches Carmel and Shehor Libnath. Then it turns eastward, goes to Beth Dagon, and touches Zebulun and the valley of Iftael, northward to Beth Emek, 
and Niel. Then it continues in the north to Kabul, Abron, Rehob, Haman, Cana, as far as Great Sidon. Then the boundary turns to Ramah, reaching to the fortified city of Tyre. Then the boundary turns to Hosea, and it ends at the sea, Mahalab, Akzib, Uma, Afek, and Rehob, 22 towns with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Asher, according to its families, these towns with their villages. The sixth lot came out for the tribe of Naphtali, for the tribe of Naphtali, according to its families, and its boundary ran from Helef, from the oak in Zananim, and Adami Nekeb, and Jabneel, as far as Lachem, and it ended at the Jordan. Then the boundary turns westward to Asnoth Tabor, and it goes from there to Hukok, touching Zebulun at the south and Asher on the west, and Judah on the east at the Jordan. The fortified towns are Zidim, Zer, Hamath, Rakath, Chinnereth, Adama, Rama, Hazor, Kadesh, Edrai, En Hazer, Iron, Migdal El, Horem, Bethanath, and Beth Shemesh. 19 towns with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Naphtali, according to its families, the towns with their villages. The seventh lot came out for the tribe of Dan, according to its families. The territory of its inheritance included Zorah, Eshtel, Ir Shemesh, Shalabin, Ajalon, Ithla, Elon, Timnah, Ekron, Elteka, Gibbethon, Balath, Jehud, Beni Birak, Gath Rimmon, Me Jarkin, and Rakan at the border opposite Joppa. When the territory of the Danites was lost to them, the Danites went up and fought against Leshem, and after capturing it and putting it to the sword, they took possession of it and settled in it, called, calling Leshem Dan, after their de- ancestor Dan. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Dan, according to their families, these towns with their villages. When they had finished distributing the several territories of the land as inheritances, the Israelites gave an inheritance among them to Joshua, son of Nun. By command of the Lord, they gave him the town that he asked for, Timnath Sarah, in the hill country of Ephraim. He rebuilt the town and settled in it. These are the inheritances that the priest Eliezer and Joshua, son of Nun, and the heads of the families of the tribes of the Israelites distributed by lot at Shiloh before the Lord at the entrance of the tent of meeting. So they finished dividing the land.